pages or whatever the case may be to distribute to your list or however you'd like to do it. Uh, one little tip is Google loves PDF documents. So there you go. Uh, let's move right along and I'll show you how simple this is. Of course we are talking about Firefox and you will need to have Firefox installed on your system. Uh, the simple way to do it is type in firefox.com and you'll be forwarded to this page that we're looking at right now. Go ahead and get your your Firefox installed if you don't have it and we're dealing with add-ons here. You can uh, you of course go to the add-ons and find about any type of add-on that you like. Now the add-on in question there's a few of them here for for PDF in the add-on section but uh, the one that I really like that works on a consistent basis and doesn't time out and give you errors is a free program over at web to PDF. It is web to PDF converter dot com. Excuse me, convert dot com. So what we'll do is you'll you'll go to that page and you'll be looking at this one. You want to go to browser tools. You want to go to Firefox add on. Of course, it's pretty cool. You got to IE and Chrome extension also here. But uh, I, I really dig the Firefox scene. So here we go. And to install it, and looky there, see it does show up on Firefox. I couldn't find it earlier. My bad. It just shows to go you that uh, I'm not perfect. Let's go ahead and go to Add to Firefox. It'll take a second for this to happen. Do an install now. Okay, every time that you install an add-on, Firefox wants you to restart it and activate it. And my suggestion is is to do it every time that you add a, a you know a new add-on. Don't add a bunch of them and then and then restart. And the reason being, if you do get a flaky add-on, you'll know which one it was. Okay. All right. So when you do a restart here, it, what happens is it saves all your open tabs and everything for you and restores the session. So I'm going to restart and I'll see you back here. Okay, that was painless. Now what we'll do, it you'll see that you've got all of a sudden a little folder up here on your right hand side. That is your converter. And there are some options, okay? You can go to the options and you'll see navigation toolbar and the menu item context menu, which is usually a right click. PDF options, you can take a look at this and see what you like. The, the higher quality large file I pretty much leave it at default, leave it at a 2. And ActiveX support, if you actually want that or if you have problems with pages, you can check that and see if it'll fix it. What we'll do now, uh, let's go to, just to show you the power of this, let's go to good old Yahoo. Okay, now what we want to do is simply click this button and it's going to go ahead and make the PDF for us. I uh, paused the video there uh, to make it a little bit shorter. It did not take very long to do though. So now you can do a couple of things here. You can store and share online. Uh, you can check that out if you like. You can view in your Google Docs, which I also love. Use it on a daily basis. But the best thing is download the PDF file. And I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to open it for you and show you. Okay, there is my created PDF file. Now I'm sure you can see the power of this. It's a great way on uh, taking a web page and turned into a PDF document. You'll notice that all of the links are clickable. That's in there. Your images show up with your hyperlinks in them also. So you've got a ready-to-go PDF file. 